you want to support this channel and help different charities and different causes like the Maloda Karen project and the Planned Parenthood project then all you have to do is basically head to the top of the description you'll find an affiliate link all you have to do is head to that link download Streamlabs OBS and install it log in and you got yourself the best streaming application use Boninja and all of the famous streamers for absolutely free with actually helping charities and different causes hello everybody and welcome back to a new video my name is Foxy and today I'm going to be showing you the best streaming settings for OBS Studio in 2019. These settings would work best if you have an upload speed above 2.5 megabits a second, but if you have lower than that, you can still try them. If your stream still lags, do not panic. I have actually made a video on how to stream with super low internet. I'll be leaving a link for that video in the description down below, or you can just click on the card on the top right corner of the screen right now, and it will redirect you there. Keep watching this video. These settings might be helpful to you. You don't know. And with that disclaimer out of the way, let's get right into the tutorial. Okay, so the first thing that I have to do is basically and obviously open up OBS Studio. If you haven't downloaded OBS Studio yet, go to the description down below, you'll find a link, click it, it will send you directly to the download page. All you have to do is download the program and install it and open it and this window should hopefully pop up. Okay, so your screen should look something like this. It might be like white. Do not worry about that. It doesn't really matter that much. But after you open up OBS Studio, all you have to do now is navigate to your settings tab, which is right over here. After that, you'll be in the general tab. And in this tab, you can basically change your theme, basically. From the default white theme, which is, which is probably the one you're using right now, you can change it to the dog which is really a personal preference but this is not the point of this video all you have to do now is move to the output tab after that this window should actually pop up and it, and it should look like this and if it doesn't look like this do not panic all you have to do is make sure that the output mode is selected on advanced instead of simple and then make sure you are in the streaming tab click here once just to make sure as for the encoder settings i highly suggest that you just keep it on this setting right here which is x264 just keep it on there it is the best encoder it basically uses your cpu instead of your gpu which is really good basically just keep it on that option after that make sure you uncheck and for streaming servers encoder settings check this after that, just go ahead and type over here 1280 by 720p, which is basically the best resolution for streaming. It is basically the best streaming resolution ever. If you're gonna be streaming like 1080p, it's literally not gonna be making any difference if you're streaming 720p. It literally doesn't make any noticeable difference in quality, but this resolution can really, really prevent your stream from lagging. After that, move to the rate control and be sure to open the drop down menu and select CBR, which is current bitrate. After that, this space should show up where you can actually type in your bitrate. Just keep it on 3500. And then, if your stream starts lagging a bit, just lower it to 3000. Um, anything from 3000 to 3500 should be good. The keyframe interval, I just keep it at default. After that, go to the CPU usage preset and Listen carefully over here because this setting could make or break your stream. Open up the drop down menu and then you will see these settings. So don't be intimidated, I will explain everything to you. So basically this will determine how much of your CPU is being used. And as you could as you could read here, higher equals less CPU. So basically if you go ultra fast, it will be using pretty much none of your CPU and if you go placebo, this would actually use most of your CPU and it would make your game and your stream lag. In my opinion, you should never exceed the fast option, you should never go any higher than fast. So if you have like a bad CPU or like an i3 CPU or something like that, I recommend going with very fast. And if you have like a decent i7 CPU, you can just go ahead and just put it on fast. But in general, I, re I recommend keeping in range of very fast and fast. I generally keep it on very fast because it doesn't make your stream that much blurry and it really helps your stream not lag. So I'm just gonna be selecting very fast. After that, go to the profile and be sure it's selected on main. And as for the tune, I'll be keeping it on none and everything else will be kept on default. After you have done this, be sure to select apply so you apply the settings and then move on to the audio tab 
Now in the OG tab, according to which track you are using, I'll be checking, as you can see I'm using the first audio track, so I'll be changing settings over here. So for the audio bitrate I'll be going with 320 because it will basically give you the best quality for your stream. Again press apply and now you are pretty much set. And this concludes today's video. If you guys enjoyed today's video, if you guys learned something new, if this video helped you in any way possible, then be sure to leave a like rating on today's video. It would be absolutely awesome if we can hit 25 likes on today's video. Also, why not hit that subscribe button because I'm on my way to 1,500 subscribers and all help is appreciated. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.